One person we haven't talked about in a while is Emma Chamberlain. Emma has been doing her own thing and completely took a step back from influencer life. She's been trying and succeeding in branching out from being a typical influencer and becoming more like a celebrity. I feel like the last person from YouTube we've seen do this and actually succeed was Liza Koshy. Branching out from what you're known for isn't really an easy thing to do, but somehow Emma is doing it. Lately, she's been getting so many amazing opportunities and it's so clear her focus isn't on YouTube anymore. One of Emma's main ventures is her widely successful coffee brand, Chamberlain Coffee. She recently launched a new line of her coffee drinks and for the first time ever, people aren't loving them and they're getting a ton of backlash. It's a mess, so let's get into it. For a while now, it's been more than clear that YouTube isn't Emma's passion anymore. She only posts every few months and she only films when she feels like it's meaningful or eventful. Many of Emma's recent vlogs involve her traveling, which is very different from the type of content she used to do. Emma was always known for her more mundane, everyday life type of vlogs, but she's been over that. She recently opened up to Mashable about stepping out of that life and the challenges she faced. They asked her, A lot of your day-to-day -day involves being tapped into culture. That's part of my job too, and it can be really hard to do. How do you stay tapped in? And Emma responded, it's so interesting because, if anything, I've sort of stepped back a lot from consuming content for my own mental stability. It's getting harder and harder for me to have a healthy balance with my consumption of the internet, which I think is why it's been so hard for me to figure out how I can post and keep healthy boundaries. It's tough. We know now that social media is a beautiful thing that can also be incredibly damaging. And I have not cracked the code on how to have the perfect balance. And so for me, I'm still figuring it out. Luckily for Emma, she has other ventures that she can focus on like her podcast, which just went Spotify exclusive and to video, and also her coffee line. Chamberlain Coffee has been so successful and I honestly haven't heard anything really negative about it. They have a 4.8 star with over 15,000 reviews, so it's safe to say the brand has been a huge success for Emma. Well, Chamberlain Coffee recently launched a new line of coffee, and it's not getting the same reaction. Emma launched canned lattes in four flavors. We have the classic cold brew, vanilla latte, mocha, and cinnamon bun. Exciting news! Chamberlain Coffee now has drinks in a can. I am so excited about these. I don't even know where to start. I created these with my own personal coffee recipe in mind. We spent so much time getting the flavor as close to what I drink on a daily basis as possible. They're made with almond and coconut milk and they're sweetened with date syrup. They're vegan, they're gluten-free, and they only have one gram of sugar and they're delicious. It's convenient yet still incredibly high quality. They're perfect for those mornings when you wake up and you're like, I don't have time to do the whole thing. I don't have time to do my whole coffee routine. I just wanna grab something and run out the door, shake it up, and you're done. There are four flavors, mocha, cinnamon bun, classic cold brew latte, and vanilla. These are available at Walmart. You can go head to your local Walmart or order online. I like matching them to my outfit because there's all these cute colors, so I just, Choose which one matches my outfit. All the flavors are dairy-free and made with almond milk and coconut cream, and they're also being sold at Walmart. Being sold in Walmart is a huge deal. The main criticism I saw for Chamberlain Coffee has always been the shipping prices. I went on her website and put a pack of coffee in my cart, and the order was only $40, and it was gonna cost me $20 for shipping. So her landing this deal with Walmart is huge, especially when we're talking about cans here, which I'm sure would cost a ton to ship. The CEO of Chamberlain Coffee spoke to Forbes about the deal, and this is what he had to say. Making Chamberlain Coffee accessible to customers whenever, wherever they are, is always the goal, and this new product is helping us do just that. Chamberlain Coffee CEO Christopher Gallant said in a press release, we're thrilled to have Walmart as our exclusive retail partner for launch and look forward to have this new delicious product being available to customers conveniently nationwide. Well, it's also given more people the opportunity to go out to their closest Walmart, buy her coffee and review it online. And so far, the reviews are horrible. People are saying their coffee is tasting like spoiled milk, it's all separated, and then they're even getting chunks in their coffee. Chamberlain Coffee posted a video promoting the new cans and all the comments under the post are like, I tried this and it was gross. 
I opened mine and there was chunky white things floating in it. I shook it for 30 seconds to be sure I shook it well. I love Emma and Chamberlain coffee, but I was really unhappy with how mine came out. I bought one and it was like separated and chunky. So sadly, I had to throw it away, but would love to try again. I love all the Chamberlain coffee products and was so excited about this exclusive at Walmart. So I went to Walmart and bought every flavor. And after refrigerating and shaking it for over 30 seconds, it had a lot of separation and wasn't what I was expecting it to be. I really had high hopes for this and was left disappointed. I tried these last week before the official announcement and even with a long shake or even pouring it out and using a frother to mix it, it's still chunky. It's really unpleasant. It was chunky. Is it supposed to be like that? I waited and put it in the fridge longer, but still chunky. I love Emma and Chamberlain coffee, but like it genuinely tastes so bad. Like I don't know if the milk is bad or what, but it tastes so bad. I wanted to love these so bad, but two of my cans, the milk separated and was chunky and it was just nasty. I tried one of them, but it was chunky even after shaking it. Was it just a bad one? How do I fix it? I was so excited for these and I chilled it, shook for a long ass time after reading others complaints and it was still separated. I know it's plant milk and tasted spoiled. And the reviews over on TikTok aren't any better. Oh, this said shake well and I definitely did not do that. Of course I already messed up. I think it's working. Let's try it again. Oh my god. This literally tastes expired. When the heck? <laughs> so this one is cinnamon bun latte. It's vanilla latte. She's thick. And good way though. Okay, first we're gonna try the vanilla one. Mm, not very good. That was an awful aftertaste. It's like, yeah, the aftertaste is really that bad. That is not it. Bad coffee, bad coffee. Oh, Cinnabon. Is not it as well. I've seen a lot of mixed reviews on this, so I'm very excited. We were born to be why is it chunky? Did I not shake it good enough? It's chunky? It tastes like sour, kinda, and like almost like it, like the milk went bad. That, there's, I saw a review that said that it tasted like that, and they're right. It doesn't have anything. Next one. Okay, next we're gonna try the cold brew one. They're not good. Like they're actually it's actually bad. First up we got cinnamon bun. <laughs> no, no, no. I hate cinnamon. I don't even know why I tried this. This is disgusting. It also said shake well and I did not shake it. And look, I know canned coffee is usually pretty bad, but I'm just wondering how Emma approved this. I feel like for the most part, Emma's coffee has pretty good reviews. So seeing such a big launch, a launch that's going into a huge store like Walmart, and yet review after review is just people hating it. I mean, some of these reviews are even coming from huge Emma fans who are like, I'm sorry, I love you, but I just don't like it. If it was just a few people saying they didn't like it, then okay, maybe that's just them. But review after review is horrible. The only thing I can think of is maybe people aren't used to almond milk coffee with low sugar because Emma talked about how she didn't want to go down that route of dairy. In an interview with Forbes, she said, Our ingredients are also very unique and this was something that was super important for me. We prioritize having low sugar content and using dairy-free ingredients so that these drinks could be enjoyed by as many people as possible. It's been a very dairy-heavy market thus far and we wanted to provide a really tasty, creamy, yummy experience without the dairy and without all of the sugar. I think RTD can be fun and easy and still high quality. You don't have to sacrifice these things just because something's in a can. Now, I will say the packaging is really cute. The price seems to be similar with other canned coffee brands, but if the taste is as bad as people are saying it is, I don't know how it passed so many people. I know the biggest complaint was about chunks in the coffee and the packaging even says to shake well, but even the people who are shaking it and serving it cold aren't liking it. So I wonder if Emma's gonna be responding to all the criticism. She had a whole booth promoting this coffee at Coachella and I really didn't hear much of anything about it. Last year when she did the coffee ice cream, it was marketed online. Tons of people were taking pictures of it and talking about it. But this year has kind of been crickets. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. Have you tried the canned coffee yet? And if you have, what did you think?
I wanted to try it too, but I don't think they ended up launching in Canada, so please let me know all the tea, tell me what you think, and I'll see you next time.